Hey everyone and welcome to another auto vlog review and today we're taking a look at the brand new 2016 Ford F-150 XLT with the three and a half liter EcoBoost engine. Everyone knows what happened in 2015 when Ford came out with the all new F-150. It's the first truck ever to have a aluminum body and aluminum bed. We all know this engine has plenty of power. <laughs> it is truly an amazing truck and an amazing engine. 365 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. It is the most sold vehicle in the country 38 years straight. So what we're gonna do is take a look at this new model year F-150 in the XLT trim and see what Ford has refined from 2015. Okay, so here it is, the 2016 Ford F-150 XLT. As I just mentioned here, it's the most sold truck in America, 38 years straight. This being the XLT trim level. Excuse all the uh, noise around me here. This being an XLT trim level, it is the mid-range trim level for the F-150s. Although this one that we're looking at here is very well equipped. As you can see here, it has the 20 inch polished aluminum wheels. In my opinion, the nicest wheel for the F-150. You can get other 20 inch wheels for say the Platinum and so on, but they don't look as good as these here. Very nice look for this truck. It is in the color blue jean metallic. Also a very nice color. It's a metallic color here. I actually moved this truck out of the sun so I could have some better lighting here. So can't really show you guys the uh, true nature of the color and, and do it justice here, but <clears throat> it is a very nice color. <laughs> this truck is a crew cab, meaning full four doors and has the five and a half foot bed. equipped with the FX4 package as well and if you watch my videos or reviews before uh, I did one on the King Ranch here about seven months back I think it was where I explained that the FX4 used to be a trim level in itself for the F-150s it is no longer a trim level it's more of a package that you can add on to any of the other trim levels so you basically get skid plates and some Depending on what truck you, you are equipping the FX4 package with, um, you get some updated suspension and that kind of thing. So you can tell here by the EcoBoost badge, um, it has the three and a half liter six cylinder EcoBoost engine. It's a twin turbo, 365 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque. The F-150 also comes in the 2.7 liter EcoBoost, a little smaller one. This one is the bigger one. Now for 2016, Ford has done some upgrades in features and such that we will be taking a look at here shortly. Now this XLT here is in the 301A trim package. So what we're gonna do, those main differences are on the interior of the truck. We're gonna take a look at that here shortly as we step inside. But there's been some pretty big upgrades and this is a truck for $50,000. 
So you can imagine that it has a lot of the nice features. Some backup sensors on the truck. Backup camera located right there. As all Fords and Lincolns, you have the capless fuel tank or fuel cap um, to stick the nozzle in there. No cap to mess around with, no uh, stinky fingers of gasoline or annoying check engine lights and that kind of thing. Very nice. As I mentioned, crew cab, tons of room in this F-150. Hold the seats up here. Got floor mats laying around here and everything. So, but Ford is the only manufacturer that has a completely flat loading floor. So, with these seats folded up here, you could basically sleep back here. There's no bump in the middle section here as it is on other trucks. So, you can lay flat. I mean, it's not as comfortable as a bed or anything, but <laughs> if it calls, then you can do that. Take a look at the doors here. Cup holders. Nice little cubby right here. Just a nice design for the, uh, the doors in the F-150. 301A package gets a 12 volt back here. If you get 302A package, you have a uh, AC outlet, 110 volt, 400 watts. Fold down the seats by just pulling that lever there. And I'm gonna walk around to the other side here. So I'm gonna show you something here that I've noticed that a lot of people don't know. In a crew cab F-150, the newer ones here, 2015 and beyond, I'll show you where the jack is. It's hidden here right behind the back seat. Because previously it was, but on the other side over there, it was underneath the seat, but now it is behind the the uh, back of the seat here. Got handlebars here to jump inside the truck. All right, so we're gonna walk around and then we're gonna jump inside the truck here in the, the driver's seat. Just to show you real quick first here, I've mentioned this in a lot of my videos. Every Ford gets a, not every Ford, but on this F-150 here, you have a five digit keypad code that you can used to open the door you can basically leave your keys inside the uh, vehicle and then you can lock it by holding seven eight and nine down see that i have the keys on me here which i do if i can show you well, just locked it and since we did that i'll show you the key fob here again this being a 301a package you uh you can uh, unlock lock button and a panic button it's a switchblade type key, so it pops up by clicking that little button there. If you have a 302A package, XLT F-150, you have remote start on there as well. All F-150s have the blind spot mirror integrated. Very nice feature. Whoops. Unlock it here. And step inside. Okay, and before we jump inside the truck here, this truck does have a two-tone paint, giving it a very nice look. I like the combination of the blue jean metallic and the darker gray paint. As you can see, running boards in chrome as well. Okay, so inside the uh, new 2015 Ford F-150 XLT, Let's start with the steering wheel here. Nothing has changed from the previous model year. On the steering wheel, you have your buttons on, on both sides. You have your voice activation button here, your mute button to answer phone calls and hang up. And then you also have your, on the left side here, you have your cruise control buttons. And the buttons on the left side here of the steering wheel controls the instrument cluster in the middle. So we're currently on the turn down the fan here a little bit see if you guys can hear me better we're currently on the main menu so you see you have a display mode menu here you can either click the OK button or click to the right you have distance to empty transmission temperature tire pressure monitor digital speedometer oil life 
my key settings and so on and then you have your trip computers here or trip meters here you have a cutoff screen with the trip timer distance to empty uh, the actual trip meter and then how many or your average miles per gallon uh, this truck has 3.6 miles on it so it doesn't really have any average miles per gallon we're just gonna reset that by holding the OK button down towing features off-road features power distribution menu here and so on now two uh, new features for 2016 in the F-150 is the SYNC 3 infotainment system which is a very nice upgrade uh, in my opinion a lot better interface and a lot user friendlier than the my Ford touch if you watched any of my previous reviews on several of the Ford vehicles in the Ford lineup then you'll know my opinion on the my Ford touch system um, I'm just gonna do a, a quick little run through here because I have a separate video with a full tutorial of the sync 3 system that'll be uh, uh, popping up on your screen right now if you're on a laptop or a desktop otherwise you can just um, see uh, the description box below here I'll post a link for the tutorial of the sync 3 system so anyhow you have a main menu bar down below here now this system is very responsive clicking of the buttons and all the menus and options that you have so just a very nice feature backup camera come up on the 8 inch touchscreen as well with guidance lines and also new for 2016 is that as I mentioned earlier this is a 301A package of the XLT trim level which is the second highest package and uh, previously you can only get the uh, infotainment system in the 302A package so that's new for 2016 you can get the SYNC 3 infotainment system for the 301A package now another new feature for 2016 and a class exclusive is the trailer backup assist so basically what this is is um, turn this on here give me one moment you'll see on the screen here trailer backup assist is on and basically what this enables you to do is when you are hooked up to a trailer and you are backing up you don't have to use the steering wheel to steer you can steer the trailer individually by going left or right and all you control is the gas and the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Now this system will disengage if you go above five miles an hour, but it's just a very nice uh, feature to help you in assisting when uh, using a trailer and you're backing up. So you can pre-program up to 10 different trailers. Um, I don't have a trailer hooked up to this vehicle at this time, so I can't really demonstrate it, but it's a very nice feature and it's a first in the truck class for uh, for Ford here. So very nice. Now this F-150 has the console here in the middle. It's not a fold down third row seat. It is the console which is very nice. It's a nicer feature in my opinion. I like this setup here. Now you can also get a console uh, shift knob instead of a column shifter that traditional here but you have to go the sport package uh, but anyhow as we open up this little hatch here close it open it you have two USB ports a 12 volt right there a 301A package gets a 12 volt here as well if you have the 302A package you get a 110 volt there, 400 watt, real power plug. You have your shift on the fly here, two high, four high and four low. And then pull it out for the locking rear differential. You have traction control buttons here. Your uh, hazard lights right there. Tow haul mode right there and sport mode double click the transmission will 
rev higher, and just be a little sportier. The instrument cluster here and the uh, the gauges, just I would say that it's a very just a, a plain and, and just a classy look. Nothing too fancy, but just very self-explanatory. No uh, super duper lights or anything. Um, you can get that in the higher trim levels of the F-150 as the Lariat and the Platinums and so on. We'll take a look here. Have your light switches, turn them all the way to the right for automatic lights. Power pedals right there. Let's see if I can show you that a little better here. Power windows here, power mirrors, the uh, XLT with the 301A package does not get power folding rear view mirrors. Now another new feature for, see if I can show you that a little better here, for 2016 is with the 301A package you now can get a power sliding rear window. That was previously only available for the 302A package. So what Ford has done is upgrade the 301A package a lot, which is very nice. Previously, you cannot get the touchscreen, you couldn't get a power sliding rear window, and so on. Also available now is a Panoramic moonroof, this specific one here does not have it. But previously that was only available for uh, Lariat trim levels and above. Have a little cubby up here. And just basic uh, volume controls, tuning, the temperature, fan speed. and where you want the fan to blow. CD is located right here. I would have to say that it's a pretty small glove department box for the F-150, although it does have a little shelf there for the actual instruction manual and so on. But to be a big truck like this, I'd say that is pretty small. And I like these little cubbies that Ford has put in the doors here. You have one right there and then um, plastic there sorry about that you got cup holders as I mentioned right there as well all right guys thanks so much for stopping by and checking out this 2016 Ford F-150 XLT let me know what you think in the comments section below and if this is the first review that you've uh, watched from my channel then please check out my channel and if you like it hit that subscribe button and until next time bye bye